Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a marketing major at the University of Rhode Island, a school I'm sure you are all very familiar with. I chose marketing because it is a very versatile field that can go hand in hand with many of my main interests, like watching movies, playing video games, watching sports, and many more. When people think of marketing, the first thing that probably comes to their mind is advertisements, which is fair, but something that is very important when it comes to the field is communications. Communications is defined by the imparting or exchanging of information or news. Now, why is this important for your marketing team? Because you must be able to communicate properly with your team and with other parts of the business to successfully promote a product. Your team must be able to convey every selling point of their product to the audience so that they know exactly what they are paying for and to generate interest in the product. For example, imagine you work at Sony. The PlayStation 5 just came out and suddenly you hear several complaints from fans around the world about the console not running the games properly. You all decide to create a revised version of the console to fix the mistakes. The correct thing to do would be to analyze the problems, have a team of experts manufacture these revised consoles, and explain to the marketing team what revisions they made to the original PlayStation 5 so that they can showcase these changes to their fans and build up hype for the new system. Here's an example of how poor communications could negatively affect a company's product. Gary! Gary, wake up! Uh, uh, my tummy's not feeling the greatest. Gary, here's the PlayStation 5 Pro. Here. The marketing team is gonna be here in 30 minutes so that you can explain the PlayStation 5 Pro's new features. Okay? I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Get to work, expert. Okay. A few minutes later. Mr. Marketing Man, my name Hi, is Gary. Gary. Um, I'm, I'm the expert. I'm the one that put this bad boy together. The PlayStation 5 Pro. Are you really sure you're... Yeah, I am qualified for this job. Thank you. Anyways... <laughs> The PlayStation 5 Pro, the best way to market it is same as the PlayStation 5, but uh, it can make milkshakes, and it's really durable, okay? Here you go. Okay, and I'm like, same as the PlayStation 5, durable, and can make milkshakes? How does that even work? Okay. All right, let's get this thing selling. Uh, next morning. Oh man, mom got me the new PS5 Pro for Christmas. Sweet. I heard this thing can make milkshakes and is super durable. Let's test it out. Bombs away. Did it work? Yeah, let's go make a milkshake. All right. Why isn't it working, Mom? Now, that was obviously a very exaggerated approach to the situation. However, a lack of communication within a company can seriously hurt its chances of success. Another reason as to why communications is so important to marketing is because everyone on the team needs to have a clear idea as to what their role is in the project. Having frequent meetings to discuss these roles along with the progress everyone has made keeps things organized. As you all know, 2020 has been a very strange year, but it has not stopped dedicated teams from communicating with each other via online video call services like Zoom. Even in a year where the whole world seems like it's going to come to an end, 
We continue to work hard and bring new ideas to solve our problems. And that is the beauty of marketing and communications.